Welcome to the LU Moment, where we showcase all the great events, activities, programs, and people right here at Lamar University. I'm Shelby Rodriguez, Public Affairs Manager here at LU, and I want to welcome everyone back to this week's episode of the LU Moment. And guess what, guys? It's a special edition with a very special guest. Joining me today is Dr. Jaime Taylor, who joined the Cardinal family just one year ago as the 16th president of Lamar University. President Taylor, thank you so much for joining me on the LU Moment this week. Uh, so glad I'm here. All right, so Dr. Taylor, just one year ago, you and I sat in the Rio building, in this right ping pong room right behind yes. us, um, and we discussed everything from your passion and vision for education and your vision for Lamar University and student success. So, it's been oh. an eventful year, right? Oh, absolutely. What do you guys say we take a journey back through Dr. Taylor's first year as president here at LU? Did you say journey? Where'd the scooters come from? <laughs> Dr. Taylor, the Setzer Student Center. <laughs> Setzer Student Center, amazing building. It's so Man. beautiful. So this building sits at the heart of campus, right? And it's also the first building that you toured when you made it to LU. It was. I came through here and uh, got a picture of me and Kelsey Tran. That's right. Oh my God, that has to be one of my favorite pictures I've had this year. It just kind of caught, captured that moment of how the excitement that we both had walking and seeing the whole campus. Yeah. And so the really awesome thing about the Setzer Student Center is that it kind of brings that togetherness and that strong sense of community. That's really been your overall theme for this past year. <clears throat> it is. And you know, the reality is, I always say, uh, most student learning takes place outside the classroom, not inside the classroom. Yeah, that's right. uh, you know, students have to do it. They have to get out and they have to yeah. engage. They have to study. They have to practice what they're learning. Yeah. And this is the type of environment they get to do that in. That's right. Uh, and we now have a, a new provost, yeah. uh, Provost uh, Dan Brown. And uh, he is very student focused, uh, and he's going to really help continue that movement we have uh, here at Lamar University to being a very student focused university. Man, and so I, there's been a lot happening in this building, right? From LeGrand Ball, new student orientation. I have to know what has been some of your most proudest moments so far? You know, the, I think the proudest moment is just the fact that this community seems to have come together this year. We have people from the community coming on campus. They're excited to be here. They love meeting with our students. I hear all these stories about, and, and it's our, we have so many amazing students. Yeah, and yeah. somebody will meet one of them, and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how much they've accomplished. I never accomplished that much when I was that age. Yeah. And so then, you know, again, just those students coming together. And it's just, ah, oh, the excitement level is incredible. The excitement. And I know a year ago when you and I spoke, you said that the president sets the culture yeah. for the university. And so doing things like getting on your scooter, right? <laughs> getting out and meeting the students, that's something that really resonates with that. Well, and, and I really like riding the scoot around it allows me to meet multiple people because when you're walking you can't quite catch up to them <laughs> but That's you can right. stop you can talk to somebody you can like yeah. zoom on you can talk to somebody else and, and kind of get around to meet everybody and have a chance to talk to them uh, and, and it really is I mean that's the most exciting part of my job is getting to talk to people and find out what they're doing what they're majoring in what their dreams are in life uh, oh, and you know, and obviously it's it's a whole, as you said, a campus culture, and it was really easy because the the staff here, uh, the faculty, the administration, it's clear everybody loves the students and want to be around the students. So, right. yeah, it's exciting. Speaking of community, what do you say we head to a building on campus that has brought a lot of community together? All right. All right, we'll do that. Let's head over to the Montaigne. All right. Dr. Taylor, so we have made it to the Montaigne Center. You spent a lot of time here, right? I have spent a lot of time <laughs> in this building. <laughs> a lot and of good times. A lot of good times, I love that. And so I know this building also has a very special place in your heart because on November 11th, 2021, 
you were invested formally as the 16th president of Lamar University in this very room. I was. A very surreal experience, oh, <laughs> for man. sure. So tell us, what went through your mind at that moment? Because this is an event that brought not only the Lamar University community together, but the Southeast Texas community. Uh, well, first of all, the individuals that were there. I mean, it was just amazing. You had uh, Speaker of the House, Dave Phelan. That's right. You had Bishop Toops. Uh, yeah. You had uh, uh, Pastor Adolph. That's I mean, right. it was just across the board. All the important people <laughs> from the region, <laughs> judges, mayors. Yeah. Uh, it was just incredible. And as I said, it, you know, then you, it's the realism hits of just being at such an amazing university. Yeah, you had your family and friends here. I, I had my family and friends here. My family yeah. came down for the first time. They were incredibly excited. Yeah, so everyone came together. A little bit of West Virginia came on down, a little bit of Beaumont. Uh, here, exactly. But... <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Oh, man. And so speaking of community, I know you've spoken a lot about bringing the community together through athletics, right? Yes, uh, and you know, this last year we had a great homecoming football. That's homecoming. right. Everybody was coming in. It was uh, almost like a party. <laughs> I came out of the game. There were still people out in the parking lots yeah. partying. At Cardinal uh, Fan Fest. At yeah. Cardinal Fan Fest, exactly. Yeah. And I, I hope we can create that same atmosphere at all five of our home games this year. Man, that's right. And not only uh, homecoming, but you also hosted the Multicultural Community Festival, right? Yeah. That was an event that you were very big on to bring the community together. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Anytime you can, you know, get different parts of the community on campus, and, yeah. oh, it, and it, it's just so exciting when you see them here and they look around and they're like, oh, I used to, yeah. you know, come here and now the place has changed <laughs> and how exciting it is here. Yes. That's right. And so another part of that uh, community piece is we just welcomed Jeff O'Malley as the new director of mm. athletics right here at OU. Well, we did. Uh, and, you know, I've known uh, Jeff for uh, several years. Yeah. Uh, he was at Marshall for 20 years as the associate director. Uh, and last year, uh, he was the uh, acting AD. Uh, did some amazing things with things like name, image, and likeness. Uh, I, I could not be more excited that, that we got him here. Oh, man. And so speaking of coaching, you often refer to yourself as a university coach. I, I do. I always tell people I don't like to think of myself as a university president, but I like to think of myself yeah. as a university coach. Uh, and to me, it's all about teamwork. Uh, I talk a lot about force multipliers. Yeah. Uh, you get four people working together, it's not you know four times as effective, it's 16 times as effective. It's multiplicative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so once, uh, just like on a basketball court, you know, you wouldn't want to send those five players out there without having coached them. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> you, right, you, it would you, work. Yeah, you'd say, oh, that's just silly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the same thing's true in an organization. Everybody has yeah. to find out how they work together. And once they get working together, things really start happening. Oh man, and things have been happening because listen, we have had more than 5,000 and graduates come through oh. this very center since you've been here. How does that feel? I just can't believe that many graduates have come through uh, Lamar University in the past year. This is a really large number and you know what's really unusual about this university is how many of them are at the graduate level. Yes. Uh, we got so well, such a big graduate program at Lamar University that I, I don't think That's people right. truly recognize that sometimes. That's right. Oh man, Dr. Taylor. Yeah. Well, I know the Montana has been very special for you so yes. far. A lot of good memories. Huh? A lot of good memories and there's going to be a lot of more good memories. A lot more good <laughs> memories. I like your thinking. Well, what do you say we go explore a little bit more of campus? Absolutely. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, President Taylor, they say time flies when you're having fun, right? It sure does. Oh man. Thanks for sticking around for the journey through Dr. Taylor's first year as president here at Lamar University. Well, and Shelby, let's walk on in. We'll, we'll say hi to Ms. Taylor and you can start talking to her. Let's do it. Hey, All right. be sure to tune in to this week's episode of the LU Moment this Sunday to hear a special sit down interview with President Taylor and First Lady Taylor. <laughs>